Good morning. It is Memorial Day weekend. Um, out here Sunday morning. And uh, meeting some clients that I've had out on my boat before from last fall. And it's going to be a fun day because, of course, it's Memorial Day weekend. So we'll see how bad the boat traffic gets. And then. Um, we have the floodgates back on. Woo! Welcome to 2020. They go off for a few days and then they come back on for weeks. So, anyway, they're not real, real bad, but a little higher than I'd like it to be. But in any case, we will go out there and hunt down the fish. I'm sure we'll still find some. Um, it's going to be hot. We're going to be approaching 90 degrees today, so we got that. And there's a possibility, kind of slight, of some thunderstorms hoping we get some cloud cover today, but, you know, it is what it is, so, we'll take it, whatever we got, just have to go with it, so, we're gonna get here really early this morning to try to make sure I got a spot at the ramp, we'll take as, advantage of as much of the quietness of the morning as we can before all the boaters wake up, and this lake gets nuts during the summer. Uh, it's the only thing I don't like about this lake, really, is just the boat traffic. When I first started fishing it back in 2008-9, um, I don't remember it ever being like this, and it just, it really feels like just in the last three to four years, it has really ramped up the amount of traffic you'll see in the summer. So, I always tell people, you know, hey, if you all want to book a trip, try to look for a weekday if possible instead of a Sunday or whatever. Of course, I don't guide on Saturdays, but uh, look for a weekday. It's a lot better than working than doing a weekend. And, um, of course, in the cooler months is better as well because there's less traffic. And you may think, ah, you know, I can deal with the traffic, but when you're out there all day long and you're just slamming around on the weights of big cruisers, it just steals the joy, or attempts to anyway. Still can have a good time, but it can be a little frustrating, and there's a time or two it's been a little bit dangerous out there. So anyway, we'll see you out here on the water. Well, I told you I'd see you back out here on the water. Here we are. Greg's getting us started today. Don't know if it's eight pounds or 80. I'm not thinking 80. Probably not that huge, but it's the first one of the day. I think we's about to see him. There he is. Nice fish though. Yeah, that gets things going. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's... Good fish. Nothing like catching a tarp right off the bat. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey there, bud. Watch this. Oh, yeah. No, not breaking my arm. You done? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that'll do it. Uh -huh. All right, we're done for the day. No, no, no. That was that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, about minute six and minute eight, got another a double, a double double. We could have been skunked. No, sir. That was a good shot right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, go tell Grandma we're in the mood to see her beautiful fat butt today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm going to soak a bait just a little bit longer here. And there goes that one. Safely released to the depths. They can grow. We'll catch them again when they're three times that big.
Maybe we got a little better one here. The lake is definitely waking up. We're just having to keep dealing with all the waves. We are up to nine right now and we're working on this will be number ten zero one zero if it'll make it to the surface and in the boat and all that jazz we've just got all these lovely people out here that are going forward, backward, sideways. We had to sit here for a spell. Finally one came along. out here enjoying the, the waves. Seems to be a decent fish. A little hard to tell, but every time I get it off the boat, come some more. Whee! If you're gonna fall over, make sure you hand us the rod first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's a pretty good fish. Not 100% sure yet. I ain't seen it bubble off yet. Well, there's a few bubbles. Yeah, now it's bubbling. I think we're about to see it. There it is, good blue. Yeah, that's a real deal there. All right. Very nice. We did the old twin grabber trick here. That's a good boy you are. Well, you did inhale it. It's a little unusual. Have a circle hook get down like that, but we'll get it out. Good one. That's a nice fish. That was a good number 10. Hi, big boy. Ooh, and off he goes back to the depths. Where he stops, nobody knows. That one almost looked spawned out. Not sure. <laughs> yeah, well, we don't have a bite on that one no more. Okay, we'll give it a few more minutes here. Well, he got the fish on the rod he called, so. Oh, well. Guess he won. You won the fish. <laughs> the Reese Cup. This is what we've been dealing with today. All this flooding. Just ugh, debris everywhere. It's kind of hard to set here and anchor when all this stuff's floating into your lines all the time. It's just everywhere right now. We're gonna let this last batch go by and hopefully uh, we'll have a bunch of it out of the way here and then we can go back to fishing. I think we might have a good fish here. Yes, sir. That was a drag stripper. And you're just gonna have to keep pressuring him up.
Yes, sir. We're just enjoying this out here with all this boat activity. We got a little fish activity going on too. Yeah, you're just gonna have to kind of pressure him a little bit more, keep a good bend in the rod. I think he's out running you. Yep, got to catch up to him. fish here. See if you can come around this. Okay, there we go. Now we're clear. Now I can see if we can get his rear along here. Got another debris field coming. It's a good one too. Yeah, that's a good fish, I think. I can feel that, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> How big's it gonna be? How big's it gonna be? Yeah, we got a pile of garbage coming down here. There it is. Woo, that's a good one. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> yeah, that's big. Good one. Okay, I'm gonna try to put this down. That's a that's a good fish right there. Whew. Ah. <laughs> Man, is he long. That is a long fish. Oh. <laughs> See if you can rotate. All right, to me, just yeah. That was a good fish. And there he goes. He's off. All right. That was fun. Yes, it was. So now we're up to number twelve. Uh, no, I'm just clean here. No, nope, that's fish. I think he's been on there. I don't know. That was weird, though. Hmm. He might have grabbed it and came running up with it. Yep, that's what happened. That's what happened. Whoo! And something else with all this wave activity. Pick 
comes another couple of rollers. Oh, Dad! I can't hold on. Whew. I can't, he can't reel. We're in a, we're in a minefield. They're up here feeding on logs. That's how they get big. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun trying to keep balance on the boat today. And just a little feller. He sure is tiny compared to that last one. So I'm trying to get him out for the other one each. <laughs> well, he's on his way to being big. He trying hard. And that'll be number 13. What did I do with my thing with my Jews? I would so he can yank it out this direction. Then. And these things get a hold of it like that. And well, I reset it. I had it out and I put it right back in. Well, hang on to your button handles. Okay, okay now it's fine. It's done. Doy, 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 doy. All righty. Well, that's three tarps in the boat now. Which can't complain on a day that the water's up, the debris floating, the boat traffic's moving, and the fish may or may not be spawning, as the case may be. I'm not going to complain. Anyway. Well... Here we are, coming in. We ended with 20. The big fat 2-0. Not bad. Not bad for a day with everything going on. We're a little bit fried and looks like we have a little boat ramp stuff going on. Gotta love that. Well, that trip's over with. It was hot out there. I think it was about 90 degrees. Of course, there was about 19 million boats. We also had uh, all the floating debris, high water flow. There were quite a few um, tough things to deal with, but good news was is we didn't have high winds today, so that was really good. That made it nice. Also, why it was hot. Um, and we did end up on 20 fish, ended up catching three trophies that qualified for the Tennessee Angler Recognition Program. So um, that was great, including one really nice fish. Um, so yeah, we're going to, hopefully the river gets back to normal again and the fish get done spawning and we'll get out there and have some more successful trips. I will be anxious for the big fish to really start showing up strong again, but in the meantime, hey, you can't complain. You know, 20 fish on anchor in a day, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Folks, I don't know. It's a 70-plus pound fish, along with one that's probably about 35 or 40. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.